You can also insert files and images inside of Class Notebook. If you go to your Class Notebook and you look at the top of the toolbar, there's an Insert tab. If you click on it, the first thing you'll see is a table. So make sure you're in the assignment or whatever page or handout you're trying to make and you insert that way. So I'm going to insert a table and I would like for it to be five days of the week for Monday through Friday and by five. Okay. So here's my little table. I can um, change the shading if I wanted to in each thing or I can highlight it and make the whole top yellow and then I can do Monday through Friday so that's a really neat way to just have an easy chart or a table or some kind of rubric if you wanted to have a rubric for an assignment or a project so if I go back to insert there's also file right next to the table if I wanted to insert a file I click anywhere on the page and I click insert file from my computer and it can be um, a PDF, it can be a Word document. So you just click on the file you want and you click insert. And then it takes a minute to load. And then you can move it anywhere you want. And I can even insert a little text box here that has a description of what the file is. And I can make this really big and visible for my students by just going back to the home there we go so that is how I insert files um, PDFs, Word documents, Excel spreadsheets um, pa even PowerPoints you can even insert pictures so if I click anywhere again I insert my picture um, I can take one right now with my laptop of myself or I can insert one that I already have on my computer I would just search for it and I'm going to use this one I insert it and then it loads as an image and I once it loads and I can preview it I can resize the image and make it as big as big as I need or as small as I need and then I can move it around. I can also insert a picture from online. So if I haven't saved a picture to my computer, I can easily search on here through Bing and I can type something such as Florida and see what pops up. So, and then I just click on the image I want and I click insert and it inserts right here in a little box and I can move it around and I have a flexible canvas to work with and I can make it small or I can overlap it however you would like if we go back to the insert tab you also see that I can insert a link so I can click here and I can display um, whatever I wanted to say like this is a video I want them to watch on YouTube now I just have to find the link for the YouTube. So let's say I wanted this video. I would simply did you know that click on the URL, copy that, and then go back to my notebook and just control V and paste my link in there and click insert. Once I paste it in there, they can simply click on it and whatever it is you titled it, that's what it would look and it'll be a clickable link. You can also insert audio if you wanted to leave feedback or you wanted to record yourself giving directions. And you can also insert symbols and emojis and stickers. And I wanted to show you how to insert a form. So if you wanted your students to fill out a form, I'm going to make a new page and I'm going to call this one form. And I'm going to click in here and I'm going to click on forms and you would sign in and it gives me little templates I can do a new form 
I can even do a new quiz. This form is the same one that we have with the Office 365 Suite. It's just embedded into the OneNote. If you look under here, these are all the forms that I've made previously. So if you have made a form using the app instead of inside the OneNote, you can use your previous form. So you can insert them here or you can edit them. Or you can simply start from scratch and click new form. The new form I just made um, popped up right here so I can go ahead and insert it and it inserts, it gets embedded directly into um, my page. Another thing you can insert, I'm going to pull up a new page here and call this one math. Another thing you can insert is equations. So if you go here, you can turn on what you would use. So if you you feel like you'd use all of these, you can click apply. Well, I've already applied these, so it's blocked out, but if I wanted to take one off, I can click apply. When I'm done with that, I can click the math again and click on math this time. And then these are quick start examples, so if I wanted an, a graph inequality, I can click on this. I can change it to what I want, solve for x, solve for y, solve for b, graph inequality, and if I wanted to use this, I can click insert on page, and it would pop up right here. There's a lot of features and different functionalities for this math app, so if you're a math teacher, I definitely recommend checking it out. And remember, you can easily insert all of the tools I just showed you for creating assignments, or you can use it to insert feedback as well.